Hey guys, Harsh here and today's video is going to be about Snagit. It's an image capturing and editing application that I've been using for years and I think it's a it's going to be very valuable for you as well. So let me show you why I use this application and what are the features it offer so that you can uh, make up your mind. So this is a paid application and it's available for Windows and Mac. And so far I found it to be an amazing tool that every blogger should be using. So let me show you the features and how it works. So I already have uh, Snagit installed on my Mac. And you can see here on the uh, right sidebar, uh, there is this Snagit uh, capture button tool is there, which helps me to capture the, uh, take the videos or images. So yes, there's one important thing about Snagit. You can also use Snagit for creating a screencast video like I'm making one right now. But I usually I use uh, Camtasia, which is again from the same company. But you can also use Snagit. So let me uh, stick to the image editing part. So here is one thing that is going to be very handy. Uh, you see this settings bar, you can click on that. And here you can configure a few settings. And one of my favorite here is delay capture. So it gives me some room for taking pictures uh, before uh, I click on the capture button. Simply I select three seconds and click on capture button, this red button over here. And that's it. Now. After three seconds, either I can select the window that is currently open or I can use left mouse and drag the drag this box over here and take the picture of particular areas. So let me do that over here and that's it. So now I'm inside uh, Snagit image editor and I can start editing image from here. So let me show you some of the features that you will be using and something that I use all the time. So one of the th one of first of them is resize image. So especially if you're using WordPress as your blogging platform and you take screenshot and resi don't resize before uploading, you're actually increasing the load time. Uh, what my recommendation is always resize your image before uploading. So in my on my blog, I usually use with 620. So that's what I'm go going to use over here. Click on apply. And this is the image. Now, this is the image that I can directly save and start using or I can add some effects. I can make some changes. So let me show you some of those effects and they are going to be very useful. So one of them is uh, so here on the right sidebar, you can see tools and effects. So let me quickly show you how effects work. So I select on border and under style over here, you can see there are different styles that I can use. I can click on any one of them and it will edit exactly like that. So pretty much that's it. So this is a pretty nice effect. So similarly, they have different effect along with the color filters that you can use. So simply, I don't need color filter in this case that along with that on the tools section, there are many things that you can do and some of them are pretty uh, good. So one of them is stamp that I usually prefer. So you click on stamp, then you can uh, pick from different options. You can also download free stamps of, uh, from online from the official website. So I select numbers over here. Let me go with the blue number and three and, and that's it. I can probably extend this. Yes, I can. That's it. You can also use this for creating your YouTube thumbnail image. Wow, that's a pretty good feature which I've never explored before. And so yes, similarly, you can also blur is another very important feature that uh, I usually use when uh, adding login pages and all. So all I need to do is select blur, just drag and drop. And also I can select the opacity over here. So that's a pretty decent feature. Along with that, here is something that will be very handy for you. You can see this cutout feature on the left panel here. And so let's say I just want to cut particular section of this image. I select this one and select the area and that's it. It also joins it together. So this is something that you, I usually use when I'm taking images from Google search and I don't want to show ads and anything else. So this is something that is going to be very handy. Apart from that, you can also imp uh, export this image directly to many place or, or share it on your social network. That is something which is going to be very handy. So what I usually do, I click on save image. So I'll simply use command S and final editing and that's it the image has been so yes now you can save the image you can simply click on command s and save as 
and you can save it anywhere you like and that's it and you can start uploading this image so this these are the some of the features of snagit and it's um, i can keep going on with all the other features but what i recommend go ahead start uh, download the free version of snagit try it from uh, yourself they also have a video library where you can uh, learn more about the snagit this is the page from where you can download the snagit i have added the link in the description so go ahead and give it a shot and let me know how did you find snagit and your feedback also and if you want me to do a video on camtasia let me know and i'll add the video of camtasia too thank you for watching this is harsh